As India, in fact, now faces oxygen scarcity, its indigenous fighter jet Tejas comes to the rescue here. Tejas' onboard oxygen generation system is capable of generating up to 1,000 litres of oxygen per minute. Now, will indigenous military technology be a game changer for civilian medical use? Here's our full detailed report. A crippling shortage of medical oxygen has left them gasping. And their loved ones are forced to haul cylinders personally to refilling centers just to save lives. From Delhi to Lucknow to Mumbai, medical oxygen is the most wanted COVID resource. And as the government scrambles to meet demand, an improvised solution has landed from an unexpected quarter. The solution is courtesy India's very own fighter jet, the Tejas. The indigenous combat aircraft's onboard oxygen generation system, or OBOX, is a module that generates breathable oxygen from the atmosphere for fighter pilots inside their cockpits. A highly efficient system capable of generating over 1,000 litres per minute if necessary. From pilots to patients, the OBOX has now been transplanted into a civilian use oxygen generation plant and is being set up at the Defence Research and Development Organization's makeshift hospital in Lucknow to treat COVID-19 patients. The military-grade tech will now be used to mitigate the acute shortage of oxygen cylinders as India faces the worst crisis with a nationwide spike in cases like never before. After the offer from Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, the Uttar Pradesh government has placed an order for five such OBOX plants based on the Tejas fighter aircraft system. The use of indigenous fighter technology for civilian medical use is an excellent example of trickle-down tech and the dual benefits of combat research and development. Based on onboard oxygen generation technology developed for LCA Tejas, DRDO has developed a technology of 1000 liter per minute oxygen generation plant for hospitals. Another product which can be useful is supplemental oxygen supply. This was developed for soldiers posted at high altitudes. Based on their SpO2 level, the oxygen supply is regulated. Same thing can be used for COVID patients if they have minor problems and do not have access to doctors and nurses. This technology will also be available in the market very soon. With more states hopefully lining up to get this technology, the benefits of India's investments in military R&D running into hundreds of crores will definitely reflect when hundreds of lives are saved. Who would have thought that a technology used on light combat aircraft Tejas would turn into a life-changing innovation in these COVID times when there is an acute shortage of oxygen? While DRDO claims that this could be a game changer, but the question remains, how quickly can these plants be put up across hospitals in the country so that thousands who require oxygen can bank on it? Abhishek Bhalla in New Delhi for India Today. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.